everyone, I'm Oliver from Lux Trading and today we're going to be going over stop losses, risk capital, risk management, how to find out what your risk capital is and much more. So let's get right into it. The first couple things we're going to need to know before we can calculate our stop loss is first, what is a stop loss? Secondly, what is your maximum drawdown limit? Thirdly, what is risk capital and how to find out how much of it you have left? We're also going to need to know how much risk you want to take and what instrument you're trading. We're also going to talk a little bit about the risk management plugin that we run and a lot more. What is a stop loss? For those of you who don't know, a stop loss is an order that you place by your broker that basically tells your broker that once the forex pair or the commodity that I'm buying or selling reaches a certain price, I want to get out of that trade. Basically, when, when you're losing a certain amount, you're telling your broker, hey, this is as much as I want to lose, I want to get out. The reason why you would want to use a stop loss is, is firstly to limit your losses. Yeah? So once you're losing a certain amount, you don't want to lose more. You want to know how much you want to lose per every trade and you never want to lose more than that. Secondly, Another benefit of using a stop loss is that it allows you to trade without including emotions. We know that traders tend to fall in love with trades. They always give them another chance. Doesn't matter how much the trade is in loss, there's always the feeling of, oh, I'm gonna give it another chance, it's gonna come back. But that may only cause your losses to become bigger and bigger, and we don't want that. And one of our very important guidelines and rules is that trader must have a stop loss in place before executing any order. The stop has to be within the 4% drawdown limit. It can't exceed that. Basically, your stop cannot be lower than the 4%. You, therefore, you cannot ever risk more than 4% on all of your trades together. So why do you need to put a stop loss before you execute the trade? Well, as we all know, being a trader is all about managing risk. We've of course had people asking, oh, why is there not a limit of two minutes, three minutes, one minute? Well, there's just quite a simple reason. And that is that there's so many factors that as a trader, you can't control. For example, your internet drops out, your PC restarts, um, whatever can happen, the electricity can go out and then you're leaving yourself open to losing everything simply we've seen in the past marking having huge dips and raises in a matter of only few minutes which could risk us a lot of capital and lose us a lot of money before because of that we want you to place a stop loss every single time before you enter the trade and secondly um we see a lot of other prop firms disqualifying their traders for simply breaking these rules for forgetting to place a stop loss or placing the stop loss maybe two minutes and 30 seconds. So 30 seconds later. And we wanted to eliminate that as we've been having a lot of these arguments ourselves where traders would be a little late or they forgot. And then, you know, it's three warnings and we have to disqualify them, which we don't want. We don't want to be disqualifying traders. If, if we're going to build a career together, we don't want to disqualify you because you made a silly mistake and not placed a stop loss. So because of that, we're also running a plugin that will not even let you take a trade without a stop loss. So we're simply protecting you against your own mistakes as well as protecting our capital. To figure out how big your stop loss can be, uh, you can always use our dashboard to help. There's a lot of useful information that I'm gonna touch on just a little bit later. Our second topic is maximum drawdown and what is maximum drawdown? Maximum drawdown is the biggest loss observed from peak to throw. What that basically means is that maximum drawdown is the biggest possible loss on your account or the biggest observed loss. Here at Lux, we adhere to a 4% relative drawdown. What that means is, let's say, you are on a hundred thousand dollar account, right? So your drawdown limit would be ninety six thousand, as that is four percent of hundred thousand. So let's say you grow your account to hundred and two thousand, 
dollars. Since the drawdown is relative, it would follow your profits and therefore it would be somewhere around $98,000. So to calculate your stop losses, you always need to know where your maximum drawdown level is. If you want to know more about drawdowns and how to, how to work with drawdowns, we have already made a video on that with our head of trading Rob, so you can check that out on our channel. Now our third topic is risk capital. What is risk capital? Well, to put it simply, risk capital is the amount of money you can possibly lose. That is of course affected by your drawdown limit as you can never lose more than what your drawdown limit is. As I mentioned previously, at Lux we work with a 4% drawdown, so therefore when you start, your risk capital is also those 4%, as that's how much you can lose. If you lose 2%, then your leftover risk capital is another 2%. Uh, let me give you an example. If you are working with a $100,000 account and a 4% drawdown limit, the way to calculate your risk capital is very simple. As the most you can possibly lose on this account is 4%, that would be 4% of $100,000, which equals to $4,000. That is the most that you're allowed to lose. But let's imagine you've been doing well for the last week and you've grown your account to $102,000. Once again, a very simple calculation, 4% of $102,000 is $4,080. As your account has grown, so did your risk capital, which is now $4,080. But keep in mind that with a relative drawdown, your drawdown limit grew as well. So now let's imagine the other scenario. Your next week doesn't go as well, you lost a thousand bucks and your balance is now $101,000. So let's look at the math. You started the week with $102,000 in your account. Your drawdown limit is still 4%, so that would be 102k minus 4%. As the drawdown limit is always counted as your highest balance that you achieved, which was $102,000 on this account, minus 4%. So that is $97,920. To get your risk capital, you simply subtract the drawdown limit from your current balance. So $101,000 minus $97,920 equals $3,080. That is your risk capital left. And that is how you calculate your risk capital and how much of it you have left. But so you don't have to do this calculation all over and over and over again, you can always look into your trader dashboard right here, where you see the yellow column risk capital and the dashboard calculates it for you automatically. Anytime you need to know that, you can just check it in your dashboard, but it's always good to know how it's calculated and what it is. Our next topic is risk, and more precisely, how much to risk. Of course, the amount that you risk per trade depends mostly on your strategy, but there are a couple things that might help you decide. Normally, we wouldn't recommend anyone trading more than half a percent of the account balance per trade. That is where we would draw the line as that gives you eight losing trades in a row. Since most traders think that half a percent to a percent is good risk management, but they tend to forget that as they have a 4% relative drawdown, 4% risk is 100% to them. And using 1% is using 25% of what's available. Therefore, we definitely not recommend going over half a percent to at least give yourself those eight losing trades in a row if that is what your strategy allows. Of course, if you need to consult a bit more, you can always reach out to our risk desk. They'll be happy to help you to set your load sizes and to adjust your risk. Now, lastly, for the plugin that we run, we are running an automated plugin to protect our capital and to protect traders from their own mistakes. The way it works is, as I mentioned earlier today, we require stop losses to be placed before the trade is executed. Therefore, also our plugin works in a way where if it detects a trade without a stop loss or with a stop loss that is too big, it simply closes the position right away. And what that means for you as a trader is that if you're trying to take trades who would have stop loss that would exceed that limit or 
if you're not using stop loss at all, it closes the trades right away. Um, it's designed to protect you from getting kicked out of a program for not using the stop loss, as this way the trade is automatically closed. Although, people who are using an EA need to be careful, as whenever these trades are closed, commissions, swaps are still charged to the account, so if you're making an EA, make sure that it adheres to those rules and that it works well with the plugin, as if your EA keeps trying to place the trades, it will keep getting charged commissions and could lost you a lot of your account right away. Well, if you have any more questions or wanna know more about risk, more about stop losses, feel free to reach out to us at our live chat or at info at luxtradingfirm.com. For now, I wish everybody a great day. Thank you.